I'm in the Google Sheets now. In column A, I have a bunch of names. This is the full name of every person in my list. I have Will Smith, Carlton Banks, Phil Banks, but I also have some long names like Tova Ionas Byrne, Ross Staley Albacawa, and Capricia Wildred Lally Medea Kendrick. So we have names where they're just first name and last name, but we also have names where there's multiple middle names. And our goal is to get in the first name into column B, the middle name into column C, and the last name into column D. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a few intermediate columns. I'm going to insert four intermediate columns. These are kind of like where I'm going to play around with getting different other formulas to help me get the first name, middle name, and last name. I'm going to color these cells white. All right. So the first thing I'm going to look at is I want to get the number of space. And you're probably wondering why I need to get these, these values, but just follow along for now. In column B, next to my full name, I want to get the number of spaces in the name. So Will Smith, there will only be one space. But for Daniel, Sean, McDonald, there will be two spaces because there's a space between the first name and middle name and then between the middle name and last name. So to get the number of spaces, this is actually from the previous episode. I think this is from episode number 74 which is to count the number of words, but in this case, we're actually going to get the number of spaces. So I can do equals length of the cell, Will Smith, a, so length of A2 minus the length, left parentheses, substitute, because I want to substitute all of the uh, spaces in the name with a empty string, so substitute A2, comma. I'm searching for everything, all the spaces, so I do double quote, space, double quote, and then comma, two double quotes right next to each other to, to represent an empty string, and then two right parentheses, hit enter, and I'm just going to autofill this. So now I have the number of spaces in my names in column B. Just to quit doing a quick sanity check, so my longest name, which is row 10, Capricia Wildred Lally Amadea Kendrick, has four spaces in that name. Great. The next one is I want to find the location or the position of the first space. So first, so column C, I want to say first space position. This is just going to be a simple equals find. And then I'm going to find the, uh, I think that's double quote first. And then you do the A2. Yep. So my, my formula in column C is simply find the first space, which is double quote, space, double quote, comma, A2, which is the name, and now I can get the location of the first space. Now this is um, a trickier formula to write, but I want to find, I want to replace the last space in the name, so the space right before the last name, I want to replace that space with a special character, and I'm going to replace that, the, the character is going to be a, a hampersand for me. So I'm going to say replace Column D is replace the last space with ampersand or hashtag. So this is going to be a equal substitute. Now we're going to use the substitute formula in an interesting way. Substitute, I'm going to first pick my cell, which is A2, the name, comma, replace all the empty spaces, so or replaces all the spaces rather, just double quote, space, double quote, comma, with a double quote, hashtag, double quote, and then the optional argument, the fourth argument is an optional argument in the substitute formula. And I'm going to say which, this tells you which, uh, so go through all the different spaces in my name. But now I want, to, I want to pinpoint exactly which space I want to replace with this ampersand or hashtag. So I want to place the last space. And I have the number of spaces, which actually represents the last space in my cell, in my name. So I can just click on B2 as the optional argument to say I want to replace the last space in my cell, in my name, with a hashtag at enter. And what you'll see here on this list of names is if there's just a first name and last name, you'll see a hashtag in between the first name and last name. But if you have a long name, like Nilos Ebru Jones, the hashtag shows up between Ebru and Jones. So basically, you're replacing the last space with a hashtag by using the optional argument, the fourth argument in the substitute formula. So this is the key 
formula to get right to make this whole thing work. And then column E, I'm just going to find the uh, position, last space position. So what is the count or index or position of the last space in my name? That's just going to be a find. And now I'm going to look for that hashtag in column D where I replace the last space with the hashtag. So find the hashtag double quote, hashtag double quote, comma, D2, right in parentheses. And now in column E, I have the position of the last space based on the hashtag in, that I found in column D or that I replaced rather or substituted in column D. So now I have all my intermediate columns figured out and I'm gonna start writing out the formulas for first name, middle name, and last name. And I'm just gonna lock in column A so we can scroll things, scroll over here easily. So first name, what is that? That's just going to be a simple left formula. So I'm gonna do left. So I want to pick the cell I wanna start counting from the left from, which is A2, my name. And then I'm gonna say the first space position, which is column C, minus one. And now you see in column F, I have all the first names based on the position of the first space. And the reason why this works is because I'm basically looking at the cell and taking all the characters up until the first space position, which is column C. And I subtract the one out because of that extra space, it counts an extra space that I don't need. So I'm just gonna say minus one to get the proper number of characters for my first name. Now the middle name, this is the one that's really tricky to write. And I'm going to say, I'm just gonna start with the mid formula, of course, mid, left parentheses, my name, which is A2, comma, C2 plus one. Why do I do C2 plus one for my second argument in the mid formula? Because I want to tell Excel where, the mid formula, where I wanna start pulling characters from. And it's going to be after the first name, which is represented by the first position plus one because we want to account for the extra space that we don't need. Um, so we do C2 plus one. And then to get the end of how much I want to pull back, how many characters I want to pull back, I'm going to do E2 minus C2 minus one. And what does that do? The last space position is column E. So that's like kind of the edge of where I want to pull back. And then I'm going to do E2 minus C2. C2 is a first space position. So now you're kind of thinking I'm basically erasing the end, my last name, and my first name, and just pulling out that middle part of the name that I want, which is the middle name or multiple middle names. And then minus one because there's also an extra space I don't need. And then that's my mid formula. Now you're going to notice that this automatically gives you an error formula, or sorry, an error message, because what happens when there's no middle name. That's where we want to account for uh, errors because if there's no middle name, then we don't want to have anything in column G. So I'm just going to put a nice if statement around this. So if um, B2, if that equals one, which means that there's only one space and that there's no middle names, I'm just going to do comma, double quote, uh, an empty string, so this will be empty, and then I'm just going to close this out with another red parentheses. Drag this down, and now you can see I have all the middle names properly put into this column, and if there is multiple middle names, they all get pulled in. If there's only one middle name, it gets pulled in. If there's no middle names, they're just an empty blank, and that's what the if statement does. And finally, the last name is pretty easy. Now that we have all the things, we all the intermediate columns, it's going to be a right formula, my name, comma, and then how many characters do I want to start pulling from the right? Well, I actually can get the length of the formula of the cell, which is len, left parentheses, I'm going to pick a2, and I'm going to subtract the last space position because that's kind of like the edge of the middle name. So I'm going to say length of a2 minus e2, and that number represents the number of characters I want to start pulling from the right. Right parentheses, fill it down. And now you can see my last name properly fills out with just the last name, no extraneous spaces before or after the name. 
And now you can fully see the first name, middle name, and last name all formulaically pulled out from the full name into three separate columns.